Hello everyone. You may complain a whole lot. You may complain about you deserve this. You deserve that. That you deserve a car. You deserve a nice house. You deserve, you deserve, you deserve. You may speak about so many things you deserve and when you don't have those things you may place god at fault because of it like god you know i am a good person you know that you know i try to be nice to people so i deserve the rest of my life to be peaceful. I deserve to not have enemies. I deserve to live in a certain area. Listen, you don't deserve anything. If any good comes to you, you should thank God for it. Let's not be like a brat complaining about the things that we don't have complaining to God you know I guess thinking that you should only have good and no bad we really need to stop that because if you think about it don't you come off seeming unappreciative what if someone always came to you asking for this asking for that and then when you don't give them something they are complaining you know i deserve this why don't you give me that you know what is wrong with you blah 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 how would you feel about that? Would that make you feel good? Would that make you feel excited? Would that honor you? No. You might think inside of your mind, hey, this person has a problem. This person is unappreciative, maybe selfish, maybe self-centered. Are you listening? No matter how much bad that is happening in your life, try to be stoic. And you may say, Uncle Kev, what does stoic mean? Okay. A person who can endure pain or hardship without feeling, hmm, without showing their feelings or complaining. In this sense, we need to be stoic. For an example, for example, things are going wrong. You know, things at my job is going wrong. People are trying to get me fired. You know, something happened to my car. Uh, person A and person B is against me. They are trying to dirty my name. So many things are going wrong, but, but I am going to choose to be calm. I am going to choose to be patient. I will still be loving. I will still be caring. Like, I am not going to turn negative because of what is happening to me. This is, <laughs> this is what it is to be Christian. Yes, your pastor may have not told you this. Maybe in church, maybe the thing you know most about is giving money, paying tithes, 
a very large part of being a Christian is the way you behave, is what you say. Watching what you say and behaving in a very good way. As I stated before, to get back to my point, you deserve nothing. If you do get something, be thankful to God because you have it. For an example, myself, some bad things are happening to me. And if I remember correctly, I believe I was having thoughts, unwanted thoughts come into my mind telling me something, you know, I deserve, blah, 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 blah. As I stated, unwanted thoughts. And I truly believe that there is an outside source that gives us thoughts. My mind is focused on serving God. My mind is focused on, I believe most of the time, I focus my mind on good things. I believe there is an outside source giving me thoughts. I believe in the effort of trying to get me to agree with it. Are you listening to what I am saying? You are sitting down, something is implanting thoughts into your head in the attempt to get you to agree, to get you to adopt those thoughts, which I believe happens. You do not have to agree with those thoughts. You really don't. You must, you know, as I speak, I can feel it. Feel something, I mean. You must reject those thoughts. I believe what demons try to do is to get you to feel sorry for yourself. To make yourself seem like the victim. Why this? Why that? Why did this have to happen? Why did that have to happen? Why can't I have total peace? Stop all of that. Stop it. Instead of contemplating on those thoughts, contemplate on Bible scriptures. I believe that is more productive, right? Other than asking why this and why that, look at the Bible, look up scriptures pertaining to what you are going through, and I believe those verses will tell you why. Stop focusing what demons are placing in your mind. Focus on what is written in the Bible. Because what good is it for me to feel sorry for myself day in and day out? Oh, I feel so sad. Oh, I feel so depressed. Oh, why me? Oh, you know, God must hate me or something. What is the point in even doing that? Like, how is that really going to help you? Like, what is that really doing for you? Like, anything positive or anything? No. When you live for Jesus Christ, let me say it in this way, I believe we are like soldiers. 
soldiers on the battlefield. Some days may be easy. Some days may be hard. Some days may be very, very hard. But when you are in a fight, in war, you have to keep on fighting. Yes, you may get wounded. Yes, sometimes may not be very comfortable. You know, you may get sick, hurt, or whatever else. But continue fighting. Continue moving forward. Don't be like, hey, this is too hard. I have to quit God. I have to turn my back on him because this is too much. This is way too much. But the silly thing about that, which I don't normally use that word. If you turn your back on God, what do you believe is going to happen? I believe things will be worse. Why did you even come to God in the first place? Maybe you came to God because many bad things or some bad things were happening in your life. Okay, so you were, if this is you, you were seeking help. Okay. So, so in the beginning, you came to God because you sought out help. But you are leaving God because things are getting tough. But inside of your mind, you may not be thinking about how hard things will be when you leave him. So if I went to God for help and he helps me, I am having a hard time now. So if I leave God, I believe my life will be more difficult, right? Just because I am having a hard time while living for Christ doesn't mean that it is going to be the same thing or less when I leave him. Does that make any sense? If I leave him, if I rebel against him, things will be more difficult. <laughs> right? And I think many people make this mistake, turning their back on Christ, believing that things can get better, or I don't really know what some people think. We need to stay focused. We need to keep looking forward. What is that thing that horses have, like, uh, I think on the side of their eyes? Let me see. I think this is it. I believe it is called horse blinders, I guess. So, in a sense, we need to have horse blinders on or <laughs> human blinders on to where we can look straight ahead, not looking to the left, not looking to the right, but straight ahead at Jesus Christ, per se. I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.